because these are little creatures right outside uh, Isley on Tatooine. That's where I am. It's a cool city, cool clouds, nice hills. Um, right outside the city, there's little creatures called Creedles. They weren't in the movies, but, you know, expanding the universe, they might be there. You can examine them, and it means a bit more than when you're examining people. When you're examining creatures, it gives you more information. So here, it gives you the armor rating, and right now it says none, but what it can say is none, light, medium, and heavy. And that'll give you an idea of how tough this fight's going to be in the sense of how heavily armored, how little damage they're going to take. This one has none, so it's going to take full damage from everything. Then under that, you have vulnerability. This is kind of key when you're fighting big mobs that might kill you or you think will probably kill you. Vulnerability is the type of damage they can take that they take way more to. If you ever played Pokemon, it is super effective. Yeah, that it, it's that type of thing. It is super effective. So there's all kinds of types of damage. So you got kinetic, that's like swinging a sword. That's like swinging a stick, a sword, a mace, something something solid. Then you have energy. That's that's a standard blaster. That's that's a blaster. That's a lightsaber. But it also it's it's not really a lightsaber in this game, but that's kind of what I'm trying to get across. It's a, it's a laser bolt. You got electricity. There's types of guns in this game that fire like lightning. And I think electricity also applies to the Jedi not the Jedi power, but the dark Jedi power of lightning. I think it might help prevent against that if it says they have armor in that category. But vulnerability means they're going to get hit for way more for lightning. So this one has vulnerabilities, but it doesn't really say how much, which makes me think that it has none. It's just kind of all around weak. Um, aggressive means it's going to attack you on sight. It means, like I told you earlier, red means it's aggressive sometimes yellows are aggressive yellow means uh, attackable but non-aggressive passive but certain things will be like creedles because creedles in this game are pack animals in this game it even says on a few of them pack pack creature which means if you get near them or their pack they will attack stalker means if it sees you but it's outside the distance where it's told it can attack you, it will follow you until it's in range to where it's allowed to attack you by the rules the game states. So certain things will stalk you a little bit, certain things won't stalk you at all, and certain things will stalk you for days. Like you're on the desert of Tatooine days. You're running for the next town hoping someone will help. And then you have the combat difficulty. And here's where you really want to look when you're getting into a fight combat difficulty is telling you where it is in the difficulty scheme of things, what level it is, but there's no level, so it's a best guess again. This creedle says it looks weak to me. Now, I already have a few abilities. I, I kind of play this guy just to play with my buddy a bit. I'm going to restart it and go again just for the Let's Play series, but I want to play with him and progress a little bit. But when you first start out, just about everything will not look weak to you. You look weak to them. That thing is probably looking at you like, um, nom, 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 nom. So, to me, it's weak. That means I can run up, probably shoot it ten times, and it'll die. Um, but there's a system. And the system, if I remember correctly, goes trivial, gray. So, it'll have, there's these three little asterisks here, and like a big one here and his is a, like a light blue, that means weak. But it starts trivial, which means you should like two-shot it. It goes to, uh, does not look like an even match or looks like it would probably be defeated. That's green. You got light blue, and it means it looks weak to you, like we see here. And then it goes to, I uh, believe, a dark blue, which means it will most probably be defeated, but maybe not. And then it goes on to uh, white. White means it's an even match. It means you that it's your appropriate level monster to be attacking. But it also means it could probably hurt you, so you don't want to take too many of them. 
Past that, it's yellow, which means a tough fight, which means you might not want to mess with it, but you might have a chance. Depends on what you're fighting. And then the last one is red. Red next to here, not on the map, but red here. Right here and here means instant death. It means if you attack that, you are getting three shot into the ground and killed. Don't mess with it. So that's that's the system you're working with. It's like a best guess system. It doesn't want to give you too much to where you can just go through the game and go, ah, don't want to mess with that, don't want to mess with that. You, I can kill you. It doesn't want to give you that. It just wants to give you a general idea of what it is to you. But it's there's so much more to consider. But there's that. And then you can always just zoom in to see what it looks like, see if it looks cool. You can always examine corpses, too. And that's that's the examine system. It's a really cool system. Um, remember when I said earlier that a, an aggressive NPCs are red and non-aggressive but attackable are yellow? On the mini-map, it can get kind of confusing when you see a bunch of them, or if you... Um, the difficulty system that I mentioned earlier, I, I'm sorry I got a, a little confused there, but the difficulty system I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to examine them and you just kind of want to see it at a glance, right here at the top left of the mini-map, there's a thing that says C-O-N, and it's a checkbox. Click it. It will put a ring around every enemy on the mini-map showing you their difficulty at a glance. And you can see right now, the dark blue I mentioned, that means it's probably will be defeated. The white, that means it's an even match. And the red, that means it'll kick my ass, is all there in that small little area. So you look out there, and you look on the mini-map, you see a whole lot of NPCs and a whole lot of bad over in that direction. So that's, that's the first few things on the interface. It's a really cool system. I'm going to keep going. Uh, the next is datapad. Okay, datapad is where quite a few things are stored and it gives you some information when you're a crafter or a profession that can craft a few things there's the draft schematic window which shows you what you can make so if you look I can make a few things because I've taken a few things already I can make a camping kit uh, some parts for some medicine some actual medicine which actually says it requires those parts uh, a dart and a trap and a food and chemical crafting tool. This is required to make food and chemical crafting stuff. So, yeah, that's the that's the schematic here. It tells you what you can craft and what's required to craft it. And then you go to POI, point of interest. This changes every planet. These are all the places on the planet that are cool or there's stuff to do there, stuff like that. So if you look on here, I'm on Tatooine, you can actually see probably right away there's some cool stuff that you remember from the movies, maybe not. So you see the Great Pit of Karakun. If you wanted to go to the Sarlacc Pit, guess what? There's a waypoint for it. They, they give you like GPS coordinates and go, here you go. You want to jump in? Probably not. So that's that, and you can just click it, activate it, and it'll pop up on your screen. I'll show you how to make that actually show up in a minute. Um, basically, when you first start the game, instead of showing up in a in a, a really in-depth way, it just shows up as a little arrow. POI show up as a yellow arrow. And that's just to give you the direction, but there's there's a more in-depth way to do it that I'm going to show you how to bring up on the screen. It's it's the best way to go. Yeah, so sorry, like Pit, Ben Kenobi's house the crash escape pod it even gives you the backstory of what it is if you're not familiar you know all that stuff that's this way now data I have nothing here but I'll explain to you what this is data is where like your mounts go your vehicles pets all that stuff so in this game there's mounts just like any other game but there's no level restriction to them so you can start this game and if you have someone some friend who's rich or someone like me who knows the game and will probably get money soon, you can get a mount for them and you can use it right off the bat. Right off the bat. Level one, mounts. Fastest mount available. Go. Yours. So that's data. Data is mounts like a speeder or pets, a companion or otherwise. There's like a few types of companion pets in this game, not many. And then waypoints. Waypoints I'll explain now because waypoints are cool. Waypoints are 
the GPS of the game. And unlike WoW, where it gives you like a general idea, it gives you the exact location. It's like here, right here. You're like, oh, where's uh, where's this creature I need to kill? Oh, that general area? No, 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 right here, like this spot. This guy will be standing here, I swear. So that's this system. Um, I'm going to delete these real quick. Um, these are waypoints I made last night for no reason. Anyways, so you can customize what it does. Okay, so only show waypoints on current planet means it'll only display the little arrows for the stuff on the planet in a different window that I'm going to bring up. Um which is over in the options, so I need to turn that on. So you go to interface, and it is, I will find it, I swear I will find it somewhere right here, probably missing it by like an inch, maybe it's a miscellaneous. I am terrible, I'm sorry, on-screen waypoint monitor, here it is, and here's where it becomes kind of cool. So you remember the Sarlacc pit? Say you want to go there. Click double click, bam, arrow and distance, name arrow distance, it tells you it is that way and it is very far, 9,817 meters, um, did I mention this game was big, yeah, it's, it's pretty big, it's, it's, it's not like the old republic where they said they were gonna be a big, like, open big planets and lied, no, it's big, like, seriously, I'm here, in the corner, and I can go from there way over to here. Like, there's actually an invisible wall in this picture. And it's not till, like, right here where, like, the little glove hand is. I don't know why it turned into a glove. It's right there. And it goes from here to here to here to here. So it's, it's really a big area to deal with. There's actually someone on the internet who says how big this actually is. I think it's a best guess. But I think from this corner to this corner it can be like an hour it's it's a long ass time and this is just one planet i mean realistically it would be days of travel but they they couldn't do that who would want to walk for days in the desert of tatooine okay i'm sure there's a fringe group out there who really wants to i i i sometimes consider it and then i go wait what no so that is the waypoint right there says 9,816 meters, and you can go to the world map by hitting V, or clicking it right here, or no, here, planetary map, it's V, the letter V, and there's, you know, waypoints down in the left corner where the little hand is, you can actually see it's, you know, where you're clicking on the map and where stuff is, like it'll say 10,000 this many meters west, so this is way out in the desert, way far away from me. Like, I have to fly by two towns to get it, and I don't even have a speeder yet. Not doing that right now. That would be a boring video. Just walking through the desert. Do, 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 do. Although it might be entertaining if a Tuscan, a group of Tuscans try and jump me, I would die fast. Those those Tuscans would whoop my ass. So that's that's the waypoint system. You can take it's not just it's not just point of interest. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm doing a poor example of explaining this, but point of interest is just the base I tried to show you. You can do this with friends on your friends list, and you know go I want to find this guy and where he is. And if you're on their friends list, you can find them. You can it'll give you a waypoint saying they're exactly right here. So no longer are you typing to your friend and tells going where are you at, man? Where and he'll be like here okay that's helpful here can you give me more I'm by the big box no instead of that you type slash find friend like so and then the name and you type in the name you hit enter if the name's right and there you're on their friends list you'll it'll give you exact waypoint the exact location they were last at and once it's made, it doesn't update. You have to do that yourself. Like, just keep typing slash find friend the name, or just keep clicking to update, and it'll keep updating and showing you where to go. But you can find people so much easier. And it's it's not just friends. So you have point of interest, friends, and, like, any waypoint you want to create. Say I open up 
the world map and say I want to go here and meet my friend here. I right click, hit create waypoint, and now I have the waypoint for that spot. So how do I get to the friend? Mail it to him. You can mail just about anything in this game to people. You can mail, it, it works kind of like a normal mail. Odd, isn't it? You open, you click the little mailbox and it opens up like a standard, really basic looking mailbox. But you click new, it gives you a little helpful tutorial that I'm not going to show you. I know, I mean, I'm really mean. You have to listen to me. Me! So you get to here and you type who it's to, what it's about the message and attachments exactly like goddamn email it's freaking gmail here and it's free perfect isn't it you can actually email people from your uh, actual email like gmail i think you used to be able to in the real game you can't anymore i might be wrong i i didn't really mess around with it too much but i i like distinctly remember something odd like that so you have this nice little thing so say i wanted to meet my friend way out in the desert like, say I wanted to meet at the Great, Great Pit of Caracoon, and let's just say he didn't know about the data pad and the point of interest thingy, and he was silly and couldn't find it, and durr. Okay, so, okay, I don't think you can actually do this. I'm going to try. Okay, bad example. Can't do that. Um, new waypoint. Say I wanted to meet my friend right on top of me. This is what the waypoint looks like when you get to it. It's a big beam of light. It's easy. You can see this shit for miles, and I'm going to demonstrate that right now as I climb this hill. Or just run 10 feet away, because I don't want to do that. Big beam of light. It's really obvious, and anyone can see it who has this waypoint. So I made this waypoint. No one else has it. It is mine. And say I want to email it to a friend so they can find me. Well, I just go over here to waypoints. I don't want to call it New Waypoint, I'll have no idea what I'm on about. So I'll set the name to I'm here. Yeah, this is, that's the waypoint. Okay, so let's just.